Hi, it's Candy. Welcome to The Art of Planning, where we build our planning around being pleasing to the eye or pretty, around it being on purpose and powerful. And today I'm going to do just a quick video on how to maximize your planner and planning. I have found a little tip that um, just has helped me greatly in the past week, week and a half. Anytime I find something that's going to help me in any way, shape, or form, I'm going to share that with you, and then hopefully it will help you sometime at some point doing some things. So um, I'm kind of coming to you straight off of bilateral knee surgery that my husband had a um, week and a half ago. And when we got home, I had to find a way to track his meds on on a schedule of some sort because there was just so much to do whenever we got home. So, you know, I, I worked through a couple of different things a couple of different ways and I finally came to a point where I got it down on paper and did kind of a schedule. Now, if you're watching this, I would say you're somewhat planner dependent <laughs> because if you found the channel and if you watch that's kind of what this is all about I love me my Franklin Covey classic planner and so obviously that's where I'm going to land whenever I've got to have something that helps me work something out literally I'm probably not going to be able to find it and I should have actually changed some things in my planner right now oh here we go this is kind of where I first started tracking is just on my page y'all know I love me the right hand side of my day on two pages planner but I knew real quick that that was going to be a pain in the neck to try to keep track of then I moved to using the lined right here the little lined paper um, which I mean worked okay but what I found there was that I was going to have to keep writing down the same thing over and over and over and I thought well that takes too much time I mean didn't want to lose five minutes of the day right so I then ended up doing something on the computer that would be an insert a five and a half by eight and a half insert that I could run off and use it daily to keep track of things so I played with that a little bit I got it to the point where I wanted it and felt that it could be useful and then that's what I was going to share with you today now you may not need to be tracking any medicine that's fine but I think that this is something that you could take and use in lots of different ways I know there's all sorts of people that sell all sorts of, of inserts on all sorts of different sites and that's great I wasn't going to go looking for those. I wanted something to be specific to what I needed, and it's really, really easy to make up what you want to fit your needs in your planners. And it may take you a couple times. You may have to rework it a couple times. I definitely did that. I am at the point at that I probably might need to be doing that. Jim might be doing that as things change up a little bit. But I want to show you where I landed and what I did okay it kind of made sense for me now lest I divulge any private information you don't need to know what kind of meds he was on um, but I did want to show you I covered meds but I did want to show you that we did a rigorous medicine schedule and we had to keep track of it real tightly and still are because I did not know what bilateral knee surgery meant. It, it, I did know he was going to have both knees done at the same time. I didn't know that's what bilateral meant. That's a big major surgery. It's a huge deal. Um, so there's lots of stuff you have to track when you're doing that. So I've had several, several days, probably about a week and a half to work through this and get it where I wanted it to be. So now that you can see that I have actually done that, kind of know what I'm talking about, I'm taking these pages out of here because again, we don't need to refer to those. This is basically what I did on the computer. I worked this out in Publisher. It's a program I like to work with, okay? It's one I know better. So 
you can use whatever program you like better and design it however you want to meet whatever you want and I'm pretty sure you can see that pretty easily okay so we have several medicines that we're dealing with and again it doesn't have to just pertain to medicine if there's anything that you need to or want to track I think this will give you an idea of how to do it and I'm going to walk you through this I don't like the videos to be too long but we're going to go through it kind of quickly okay so I leave room up here for date this is what I designed on publisher and I'll show you the tools that I used with it too I don't want to forget anything so a lot of YouTubes I watch people are so clean and their frame is so not messy and it's so nice that's kind of I never get that done do I guys we always kind of end up having a lot of stuff in frame um, but that's because I, re I need to remind myself to tell you about all these before um, before we get done because these are the tools that I will use okay so here's what is designed on the computer I run this and then I make several copies of it and it is blank like this and I'll, I'll tell you why I do it like that so this is on eight and a half by eleven it will fit five and a half by eight and a half binder Franklin Covey classic size and yes I do have a hole punch I didn't bring it in here but I have a Franklin Covey classic hole punch so after I get these run then I put them in my little hole puncher and I punch it in there because I do then keep all of my inserts in my notebook this is what we live by Jim also okay so I decide this is medicine one two three four and anything else doctor notes if we need them physical therapy notes if we need them other notes if we need them so if medicine one needs to be taken twice a day here it says a.m. and p.m. we have a couple of those that are a.m. and p.m. some of them need to be taken every four to six hours some of them just once every six hours and then like this now what I have in my notebook is the name of medicine number one and on my printout in my notebook is the name of medicine two and the name of medicine three but I wanted you to be able to see this in a generic form I actually recorded this video last week and I did it with all of the real information and I had after I had it videoed and uploaded it dawned on me that's not good to share all of that information um, that wasn't a good thing and this is the first time that I have had to refilm the video so I think it's good enough information that I did want to film it so here it is so you put any specifics about that now we are on enough of a schedule now so you make this out online whatever it pertains to okay then you put it in your copier and you print I would say at the beginning initially three or four or five of them you may find that you want to adjust this okay so print up three or four or five of whatever insert you're working on then take it to a copier your copy machine and print off three or four or five I, I don't I have a copy machine in my office I've had it there forever so um, if you don't have one see if you can borrow one and run off a few copies then I cut my copies five and a half eight and a half and I just do it with my little craft cutter I don't do it with a great big with the great big paper cutter thing I just do it with this little guy and I cut them five and a half by eight and a half which is this I know I've mentioned that 12 times but that's what I do okay then the other thing I do is I go in and I put down in pencil in mechanical pencil the times that Jim takes all of his medicines I put them down in mechanical pencil because I will then go over the pencil time in a colored pen when he's actually taking that medicine that's how I track 
when that medicine has been taken. The scheduled time is written down in pencil on the schedule. When that medicine has actually been taken, is written in pen, that tracks it for me. So, for anything, um, if kids have appointments after school, mark it down in pencil. When, when you've gone and picked the kids up, mark it down in pen. I don't know, whatever this could pertain to. But that's, that's the way I can tell, oh, it needs to be done, oh, it has been done. Because some of these things, um, they're supposed to be done at the same time, and we've gotten to the point we like to stagger them 30, 45 minutes apart, so they aren't taking it exactly the same time. Too many meds aren't. So, you know, we offset some things a little bit, but we know it's been done. The other thing that I wanted to show you, just because it is meds and um, we want to track it, some of these... I put down like a 24-hour schedule time, and when I go from a.m., when the meds go from a.m. into p.m., because we do take p.m., okay, now I just said that wrong. I don't want to really confuse you. The day goes from a.m. to p.m., but then when I go from midnight into a.m., I change the color of pencil. Okay, so when meds have to be taken like after midnight, at midnight, or after midnight, that's a new day. So we change the pen. So the green is Monday. The kind of purplish color is Tuesday. So now this has been done early Tuesday morning, and then here is Tuesday again. So we're actually on Tuesday, February the 6th right here. So, you can see that I am timing this video sometime, I'm taping this video sometime between 2 and 6, because we haven't done any 6 o'clock anything yet. And then when we get down here to after midnight, at 2 o'clock after midnight, or at midnight, I'll bump up into a different color for midnight and after, and then for Wednesday also. Now, I didn't go ahead and do a Wednesday because, um, since this is a real generic form, I didn't need to, and also because I'm actually going to do another video and show you another way to track something. I'll get that up next, and it'll just be another tracking system for you to use in a generic type of a way um, for an insert. And actually, will you, whenever you comment on this video, will you let me know if it will help you to see another way to track something in, a, in an insert for you to use? Because if that will help you, I'll make it. If you don't think it'll help you, then we'll skip that part, okay? I just know that this has been beyond helpful for us in tracking this kind of thing. And, I mean, it just, it took it a few days to fall into place and then for me to know what I wanted to do. And, um how to get it all figured out, but I, I don't know how we'd live without it right now because all those medicines are a little bit staggering, and this has been so absolutely incredible. At night, we put on a little index card just the things that we have to deal with after midnight, and that's all we deal with after midnight, and take a little large index card, take that to bed, and those bottles of pills to Bed and then we've got that all taken care of. We don't have to refer to a big sheet, and we don't have to look at all these times. We just take care of what has to be done in the evening. So, that also narrows down what we have to be dealing with at that point. So, that's how we have been handling tracking. It's um, It fits right into what we do on a daily basis because we already have this. We traveled yesterday. We had this with us all the time. And it just, it just helped life be a whole lot easier off the road. It works for us as good when we're on the road as it does whenever we are here. So, we don't wing it. We, we never wing it whenever we have got this. It's something off of my shoulders because we're not winging it with medicines. We have got it down 
we've got it down with this system so um, will you comment if you do want to see another way to track something with an insert that you could develop for your planner I hope this has helped you so much um, again leave me that comment that'll let us know that'll let me know about that it's always important that you do the thumbs up and if this has helped you maybe it will help somebody that you know a friend or somebody else that loves to watch planning videos it's always great when you share with somebody else I my hope is that this has helped you because there really is an art to planning planning better and you being able to be proactive and do some of your own things like that when you apply something like this you really can maximize your planner and your planning so i hope this has been helpful and i will see you soon thanks so much for watching bye